Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I'd recommend going with the best gear you could get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague, the other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I know which is worse. Just take your pick. Shit in it as it is. Hey, 
What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? <clears throat> yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Probably ain't moving no more. <laughs> Anybody with signs of the sickness? Let your wreck. Dunwall citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded district.
Attention watchmen, this district is now considered a highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to adjacent neighborhoods or delivered for immediate deportation to the flooded district. Remain in position until qualified personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Yes, I will. Indeed. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Blind, not deaf. We're here to do your walk. He's not stupid. Either. 
Have it your way. Granny, Granny, come out with me instead. Granny, Granny, Granny. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your walking. Yes. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. You're sorry, yeah. Granny, Granny, Granny. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I told you the knives go on the left. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're... Chai, you'll have to go or they won't come.
Where did my birdies go? Maybe they should pay 